Welcome to the Fiji Symposium 2019 in Cairo, in Egypt. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Kwame uh, Ba Achemfour, who is the chair of the ITUT study group 12 for standardization. Kwame, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, this uh, symposium is all about uh, digital uh, financial inclusion. I wanted to ask you in particular, from your experience, what role can governments play to enhance the usage of digital financial services at national level? Um, from the study um, before Fiji, which was on the focus group on digital financial services, then we realized the ecosystems and among the governments were the regulators for the financial sector and also for the telecom services. But as we have this measure of mobile and money, which traditionally is of two government entities, this kind of measure, um, even though the ecosystem looks at it that way, should be again reviewed um, for the factors that are emerging out of this um, collaboration. Because now there are new stakeholders who are coming in, such as the fintechs, and then the consumer behaviors are changing. Um, again, if you look at how um, the rules each of them have to play, it should go beyond the memorandum of understanding and among the service providers um, between both um, the regulator of the telecom sector and the financial sector, how service level agreements are shared. So these are the critical factors um, which are needed among governments for them to bring uh, more of a multi-ministerial, multi-industry um, stakeholder approach in, into the implementation and review of the digital financial inclusion. And the, the methodology that's been submitted to the ITUT study group for standardization, what, what uh, would be the benefits of this new standard and, and how will it help telecom regulators? This is a new area, um, so testing identification of parameters has not really um, been done to um, the deepest extent. So there were a number of propositions of parameters for end-to-end -end identification of their mobile money transactions. So with this, there has been the methodology more of a full trial to see how the means of measurement is done. Many countries have already ruled out digital financial services, but how do they measure them? It could be over a hundred different means. So, a coming to study group 12 is the way for member countries, of which um, ITU has over 190 member states, and with the various um, sector members who are into this, to bring their ideas to bear on how best um, these parameters can be measured especially um, for service level agreements, consumer protection, and also certain targets. What has happened is that um, knowing the state of the market can only be measured with parameters. And especially now that countries, or they are cross-border digital money transactions, it is important that the fields between either countries is known and what parameters they are measuring to know what levels are appreciated by the consumers. It is for this reason why it is very important in that the work which is currently going on at ITUT and study group 12 member states and sector members who contribute to this work. And there's a lot of meetings that are organized obviously on a regular basis by ITU and its partners. What do you hope will come from this symposium? This symposium is very exciting. Um, I've been to um, the previous ones and I see um, the lineup of activities that are for this symposium. I see that there's a lot more study and experience being shared. And I think it's an opportunity for the ecosystem to um, network further, discuss it deeper and, and let financial inclusion be in not just for a few, but for the purpose itself that it is a global um, effect. On us all. Fine words. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio, and we look forward to catching up with you at the next one. Thank you. Thank you.